It's in your policy, isn't it? If any member of the public talks to you, you have to identify. Well, then don't talk to me then. Then don't talk to me. You shut up. Is that how you talk? Is that how you talk to fucking members of the public? I didn't say nothing until you brought it up. That's on camera, bro. I'm going to put a complaint on you. What's your name? What's your name? Como te llamas? Flipping me off, being she shot. This is how they are, bro. This is how they fucking are. Uh, no, ma'am, just recording. So keep a distance, or else you're gonna be interfering, okay? No. So you need to keep a distance. I'm good here, ma'am. I'm not gonna tell you again. I'm good here. Put up some tape if you want. Okay, I will. If that's you know? what I need to. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing? We're just... All right, all right. Sir, did you need something? Uh, no, ma'am, just recording. Okay, so keep a distance or else you're going to be interfering, okay? No. So you need to keep a distance. I'm good here, ma'am. I'm not going to tell you again. I'm good here. Put up some tape if you want. Okay, I will, if that's you know? what I need to. I'm not here for I'm no ill intent. You. I'm not going to tell no you No nefarious again. intents. I'm just good here. I'm sorry? I'm good here. It's a public sidewalk. What's the distance? Okay, so if we need to move them over here to the car? I'll gladly move. Okay, I'm just letting you My know My safety now. is not your concern. Okay. So I'm just good. Can I have your name and badge number? Thank you. Are you good, brother? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate your help, man. I kind of feel like if I wasn't here, they'd have taken y'all in, bro. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. You be safe, brother. Appreciate it, man. What's your name? Uh, just my name's Ruben, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, brother. You got thank it, brother. You, just take care, brother. You. Hello. Ma'am. Can I get that name and badge number now? Goodness. She don't want to identify now. How you doing, bro? Good. Yeah, I know. All my stuff, man. I have my wallet and... Did you give him permission? Oh, you? you didn't give him permission? Nah, I didn't give him permission to search me. Did they tell you why they... Were they searching you? Nah. Supposedly, uh, we're trashed. Tell her, bro. Man, shit. She's a supervisor. They make sure I have my wallet because I think I might be missing it. Did you give him your whole wallet? Or just your ID? See, look your guy didn't give him anything. What's that in your head? Is that it? No, I said I have the other I have another one. Yeah. No, they don't have it. Have your name and badge number? Oh, oh nice. My bad, bro. I thought she just wasn't identified. Appreciate it. You know, they don't have to identify themselves. It's in your policy, isn't it? If we're interacting with we're not interacting with If any member of the public talks to you, you have to identify. Well, then don't talk to me then. Nothing to do with it. Then don't talk to me. You shut up the f. 
Is that how you talk? Is that how you talk to members of the public? I didn't say nothing until you brought it up. You told me to shut up. Esa la verga. Pendeja. Esa la verga. Pendeja. You. Oh, that's on camera, bro. I'm gonna put a complaint on you. What's your name? What's your name? Como te llamas? What's your name? No, I know. I'm just fucking this bitch, though. She, she wants to fuck with me. Fuck you. Flipping me off. Being she shot. This is how they are, bro. This is how they fucking are. All right. Y'all make sure to go subscribe to Rights and Lefts. I'll put the link to his channel in the description and the pinned comment. Make sure to let him know I sent you. I just wanted to go over a few things real quick. Is that he was very polite and respectful in the beginning. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm just... All right, all right. Sir, did you need something? Uh, no, ma'am, just recording. It's good. Can I have your name and badge number? Thank you. Oh, oh, nice. My bad, bro. I thought she just wasn't identified. Appreciate it. He gave the officers tons of distance. And even when the lady officer came over to him and started telling him about interfering and all that, he was still respectful. He didn't cause a scene. He wasn't being loud. He wasn't being aggressive. So once they got everything wrapped up, he once again tried to get the officer's name and badge number. The officer wrote it down on an information card, walked over and handed it to him. He was still being polite at that point. He said, thank you to the officer. And that's when the supervisor decided to butt in and started telling, oh, well, they don't have to identify to you. And then the supervisor said, we only have to identify if we interact with you. We didn't interact with you. He told the supervisor that they did have to identify because they did interact with him. And so even at that point, according to what the supervisor just said, she should identify to him too because she interacted with him. He didn't say anything to the supervisor. She went out of her way to turn around and try to be disrespectful to him because he asked for their name and badge number. When he had a right to ask for the name and badge number because they went out of their way to interact with him. He never said a word to the supervisor and she went out of her way to turn around, lie to him about the department's policy. Then she told him to shut up. Then she gave him a middle finger when she got in her car. It doesn't matter if the citizen is being mean to the officer, which he wasn't. It doesn't matter if the citizen is being disrespectful or loud or yelling at the officer, which he wasn't. The officer is supposed to remain calm and respectful towards members of the public at all times. That's why they're public servants. And she's a supervisor at that. So we have a supervisor with the El Paso Police Department who's out here misrepresenting her department's policy, telling citizens to shut up, and then giving them middle fingers just because he was standing there with a the camera and asked for the officer's name and badge number. She went out of her way to interact with him only to tell him that she didn't have to identify unless they interact with him. It makes zero sense. So according to rights and lefts, there has been an investigation started with internal affairs about the situation. We don't have the supervisor's name because she wouldn't identify. I couldn't get it from the video. I'm going to leave all information for the El Paso Police Department and the Internal Affairs Division. I'm going to put the supervisor's vehicle number and license plate number. That's about all we have, as well as the location and date of the incident. Make sure to go subscribe to Rights and Lefts, let them know I sent you, and let me know what you think down below.